Hello and welcome to CI Hub. In this tutorial, we will show you how you can easily create semi automated print products using the CI Hub connector, a cloud storage of your choice, and the data merge function of Adobe InDesign. We will look at the basics based on a simple business card and then progress to a more complex sales brochure with individual product cards. The example templates you see in this tutorial are provided free of charge by CI Hub so that you can recreate and practice the whole exercise. Let's get started. Before we start with the hands-on tutorial, we need to cover a bit of theory. Let's have an overview. First, we will talk about what metadata is, what kind of metadata is used for this tutorial, how you can create and edit metadata, and what the challenges are in working with metadata in the context of this tutorial and the CI Hub connector. Let's dive right into our first topic. What is metadata? In short, metadata or meta information is structured data that contains information about characteristics of other data. The data described by metadata are often larger data collections such as documents, books, databases or files. For instance, information about the properties of a single object, for example person's name, is also referred to as its metadata. What kind of metadata do we use in this tutorial? As the world of metadata is huge, we will here focus on the data we actually use for this tutorial. We work with XMP and IPTC data for our templates. These are all metadata fields, which are displayed in the CI Hub connector. On a side note, the basic text is composed of the IPTC data and information provided directly by the CI Hub connector. Now let's have a look at how you can create and edit metadata. For our project, we use metadata that was previously attached to the respective image via XMP or IPTC data. There are different ways in which you can edit and read metadata. Basically, every metadata can be written and edited in applications such as Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Bridge, specialized apps like MetaImage or Affinity Photo. If you already use a DAM system, the metadata editor is usually already integrated. So what are the challenges of working with metadata? The main problem when working with metadata in the context of the CI Hub connector and various cloud storages is that not all fields are supported. For this reason, we are using Dropbox because they offer a relatively large number of metadata fields other than, for example, Google Drive. Let's compare those two. On the left, you see the metadata fields displayed in the CI Hub connector using Dropbox, and on the right, you see the same image using Google Drive. You can see that the CI Hub connector can read much more out of Dropbox than it can using Google Drive. However, we have to get creative with certain information, as there is not always a suitable meta field available. For instance, we had to put the job title or the website in the Instructions and Keywords field. Now let's have a look at how you can use this to work with a CI Hub connector. Picture this. You are a really cool startup and you want to keep your business cards as simple as possible, so you create a fancy template and use a Dropbox account for your media assets to get started. Your employees are being photographed for the website and the pictures should also appear on the business card. Instead of sending the designer an Excel file with the employee's details and the photo which he then copy and pastes, you use a new method, the CI Hub connector. To achieve this, you enrich the photo with the most important information in the XMP and IPCT metadata and thereby ensure that everything is applied the way you want it. You make this image available over Dropbox and the layouter accesses it directly via the CI Hub connector and pulls a CSV file directly from the image. As you can see here, the metadata fields match the placeholders in the template. Afterwards, 
your layouter can produce the business cards with the InDesign template almost at the push of a button. So let us show you how the CI Hub connector works. It's magic. Welcome to a more hands-on view of our tutorial on how to create the business card with the CI Hub connector and the Adobe Data Merge function. As you can see, I already opened up the template we created, pre-filled with our needed placeholders. All we have to do now is fire up the CI Hub connector, connect to Dropbox and navigate to the folder in which we have our images located. To create our CSV file out of the Images field with our metadata, we simply need to hold down the Shift key and drag and drop with our cursor over the images until they are outlined with this blue mark. Please note that you need to be in the Tile view to do so. If you are in the List view, you won't be able to mark the images. So just switch to the Tile view, hold down the Shift key, drag and drop over the images. And to export your CSV file, hit the CSV Export button in the menu. Check the options you would like to use. We recommend taking this option, so you will be taken to the export folder right away. Hit the OK button and you see our CSV file is created. Now let's head back to our InDesign and start our data merge. To open the data merge panel, if it's not already open, just navigate to Windows in the menu bar, head down to Utilities and click on the Data Merge. This will open this panel for you. As you can see, there's currently no data source connected. Let's change that. Head over to this menu, select the data source and navigate to the folder in which you have exported your CSV file. Open it. And now you see that we have every placeholder which is available to us in the CSV file. Since we have already pre-filled this, you can see an indicator of which placeholder already exists in the template. To check if every placeholder has a value, we just activate our preview and see that everything is filled correctly. Now we can switch between our records to check if all parts of information are here. Now let's create our merged InDesign document. Click on the Create Merge Document button and open the corresponding dialog. Here we can fine-tune our data merge options. Of course, we want to use all records and we want to be informed if there's overset text generated and if an image is missing. Under Options, we tell InDesign how to handle our images. Click on OK and wait until the merge is done. There's no overset text generated. That's good. And you see now, we have created our four business cards almost at the push of a button. The only thing we now need to fix is our intern, because he uses up one more line than the others. So all we have to do is drag and drop the box a little bit higher like this. And we're done! Now we're ready to export our business cards and send them to the printer. Alright, let's step up our game a little bit. Next. We want to create a business brochure on which we display four records on the same page. The work we do beforehand is the same as we did earlier. We create our CSV file by marking all our images, hitting the export button and create our CSV file here. Next, we will connect it as data source. Open it and you see now we get all our metadata information. To create a multi-record file, just click the Create Merge Document button, head over to the Multiple Record Layout, define the margins, which we did beforehand just to save a little bit of time, and hit the Preview button to check if everything adds up. And boom! Just like that, we have four different records on one side, pre-formatted, and with a little bit of grab style, we can do typo within the text. We hit the OK button and the file is being created. To save time, we pre-created this document before we started this recording. But as you can see, we created six pages with four records on each, showing different cars with different information. All we had to do afterwards is adjust the framing of the images a bit so they fit our needs. Everything else just clicked at the push of a button. 
We created this and with a little bit of grab style, we even can adjust and brighten up the text inside our records. Now, let's say that you want to create individual flyers for one product out of your brochure. In this case, you can do exactly the same as before or as we have seen with the business card. You create your template, style your flyer just the way you want them to look and you export the CSV file. You use it as the data source here in InDesign and now you can create your individual flyers at the push of a button just like that. Hit the OK button, wait a little bit until it's done. We have no set text, that's always good. And now we have created 21 individual flyers for every car in our brochure. Again, the only thing we have to do is to adjust the framing of our pictures if we don't like the position. Everything else is done, just like that. Thank you so much for your attention. We are happy that we could show you how easy it is to create beautiful print products with a CI Hub connector and Adobe InDesign. If you like to try it yourself, just head over to ci-hub.com slash it just works. Download the free templates and start working with the CI Hub connector.